Welcome back everybody to my Minecraft survival let's play survival guide and we have been doing a lot off camera we have all diamond tools on my hotbar I hope you guys did enjoy that time lapse of me getting all the diamonds but we did have another corrupt file and we did some enchanting and that was off camera I did try to record it but again my audio did not record so we just skipped it out and we did have something right here it was gonna be a gazebo but I decided to destroy it and we're gonna build a hidden I would say not a hidden but like a cave enchanting room right there but we did do a few things off camera we did build the wall we only did the interior of the wall we do not have any of the rocks on the outside but it does look quite nice with the rocks right there it, it does look pretty nice but we do have a farm I'm pretty sure you guys haven't seen that yet and we do have a chicken egg farm type of thing and fun fact if you fun fact if you guys did not see this you can put chickens in trap doors or any mob for that matter and they will not jump out so I decided to use that to my advantage and put um, hoppers underneath them with the carpet and they lay a bunch of eggs but we have been doing a lot we did enchant like I said before and let me show you we did we did do the farm but um, let me show you what we have gotten done we have a bridge now and I'm pretty sure you guys can tell where this is going to lead this is going to be our nether portal. I thought this island would be perfect for a nether portal. So, we're going to be building a nether portal today and going to the end. Or the end. The nether. Sorry. But, let me show you what we're going to be doing in our book. Oh, we finished our kitchen. It's pretty simple. I was going to do it on camera, but I was destroying a lot and changing my mind. And since we're so lonely in this, in this world, we only have... A wood table with the wood seat because we're so lonely but yeah I think our kitchen is looking pretty simple pretty nice and this is where our location book is and that's our to-do list so what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be building an enchanting room a we're gonna finish the skeleton farm the nether portal and we're gonna make an automatic chicken cooker and since we didn't get to the campsite last episode we will be doing it this episode and we will be finishing our house here in the near future once I finish our skeleton farm so I can get some bone meal, make an outside of it look super fancy, super nice. So that's what we're going to be doing today. But since we didn't do the campfire last episode, we will start that off today. And as you can see, we have our obsidian and flint and steel ready to go. But I want to get this campsite uh Let's get this campsite started so we can finish that off right now I don't know what I'm doing in my inventory we just need some materials um, okay we have got all the materials we need for our campfire and it's perfect because it's night out right now and it's gonna look super spooky so this is gonna be the entrance I think to our enchanting table it's gonna be like a little cave inside but I think we want the campfire pretty close to that so it looks a bit spooky I was thinking about making the campfire over there but I kind of want to see the campfire or the campsite right outside our window so we're gonna head and throw our campfire right there and we want a seating area for our campsite so I think we're gonna go ahead and throw down some spruce stairs and we'll have one over here that might be a little close so we'll do that one and I didn't even show you my enchantments for all of our tools so for our axe we got efficiency 4 we got a uh, silk touch for our shovel we got efficiency 4 for our diamond pick and for our sword we got fire aspect uh, Fire Aspect 2, Sharpness 3, Looting 2, and Knockback 2, which is great. And I did enchant our used pickaxe, and we probably got the best enchantment for this one. Silk Touch, Unbreaking, and Efficiency 4. 
which I was pretty mad I didn't get it for this pick but we'll probably just end up adding these picks together and get efficiency 5 on this pick and have silk touch which is pretty nice but I was pretty mad we didn't get to have the enchanting on camera but it's all fine it's whatever it's live gotta get deal with it so but anyway so going back to our campsite we added the stairs we want to add some signs to this I think these seats are looking pretty nice kind of cozy whoops did not mean to do that so it's gonna be like that and then we can just add a bunch of I kind of want like cobblestone around this kind of some stone make it look realistic and I don't know if I want to add a chair right here maybe we'll add a table or something right there but and then we can make it more ruined like people have been here used it oh forgot a sign right there looking all nice and for some of these seats we can add a lantern uh, maybe just one because then we'll have a table over here um, let me go get that cobblestone we'll throw some of this in maybe one right here cobble right there some more gravel put some gravel all around here make it look like it's being used and I want to throw in this coarse dirt as well kind of don't want any of this green grass over here just to make it look a little bit more ruined and let me grab some more but the first thing what else I want to do is go to the nether because the nether is pretty much going to be able to do the rest of the stuff for the episode we need that um the soul sand for our skeleton farm and then for our chicken cooker we are going to need the nether quartz for the observer and stuff like that but let me let's let's go ahead and do the let's go ahead and do the the enchanting room real quick right now let's just go ahead and um, go ahead and light up our nether portal what is weird there was a pigman here there was a pigman here standing at our wall for like a day or two and it was just staying there but i didn't make any sort of nether portal like i didn't uh, make the nether portal or turn it on at all so it was weird and then it disappeared and i come back and i figure out where i want my nether portal and another pigman spawned right here and it's like how did it know I wanted another portal like it, it just knew that I was gonna build another portal here somewhere and I was like what some creepy stuff so but this is where our nether portal is gonna be it's gonna look super nice right here and we can officially make our first nether portal boom Dang, that looks pretty nice with the faithful texture pack. I like it. But it's not going to look like this. We're going to detail it. It's going to look like it's integrated into the mountain. Into like a little cave system too. But I built this little bridge to it. I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to see me build that. But it's kind of right. I don't like it too much. But I mean, it's fine for now I guess. But yeah, we'll go into the nether here soon. After we build our enchanting area. And then we'll get on to the skeleton farm and probably the chicken breeder we'll probably do the chicken breeder first and the skeleton farm will last but so this is where our entrance to our enchanting area will be so let me just go ahead and dig this out and i'll be right back guys okay we have dug out the area for our enchanting area and i just need a few more materials to make it look nice so this is just a basic structure of what I want it to look like but oh my god it, it does matter time. but yeah let me show you guys I'm gonna detail a lot more but this dirt right here is gonna be a bunch of bookshelves which I don't think we have enough for maybe we do but I want it to be like a, a towering bookshelf area and then this cutout right here is gonna be water and there's going to be a little waterfall coming down right there. Another one right here. 
Tone's gonna come down right there. And this one's gonna go down here. And then we got some placement holes for our other things, but let's just go ahead and make an infinite water source right over here. Boom. And let's just fill this area in with a bunch of water. Cause I kinda want like a little bridge type of thing going to the enchanting area. I think that would look pretty cool and spooky fitting the theme of the cave. But yeah. Fill this all the way around. We even have a stream coming all the way back here. Oops. Yeah, I think I'll be back when I'm done detailing this fancy enchanting area and the outside too because it's kind of looking bland but i think that is looking pretty good so far so i'll be back once we are done ladies and gentlemen i am back and i have done a few things to the enchanting area Ooh, we're getting a lot of eggs but i need to go to the end real quick to get some glowstone because i do need it for our enchanting room and I did not want to go into the nether without you guys first time, so here we go. All geared up with all of our good items. And I do not know where we're going to spawn. Okay, of course, next to a pool of lava. And we do need some glowstone here, but I need some of this soul sand as well, so we'll get a bunch of that. Anyway, for our skeleton farm, we will need this, and I'll show you guys why. Oh, there's a gas next to my portal. I do not need that to break because we will be stuck here. But we need glowstone, and this looks like a pretty good spawn. Sure. A lot of gas all over. I do not want to die with all my god. Well, they're not god, but all my diamond pickaxe and tools. And I want some glowstone. I know there's some over here, but I want some easy. I need some easy access glowstone. Oh, yeah, we can see. Oh, I hit it. I actually hit it. What? Hit me again, bit brother. <laughs> okay. We can't be dealing with this gas right now. Okay, let's just get some of this because I'm going to need it for my observer anyway. We might just make this get a chicken farm right after this. Since we have what we need for it. Okay. Um... I guess I can get some of that. There's so much gas over here. Don't die. Look at this bedrock feature right here. You can place blocks right in front of you. Nothing to see here, gas. Nothing to see here. This is such a great feature, but I'd rather have Java because Java is just a great game by itself in general. So. But anyways, <laughs> talking about Java too much. Uh, I should use my silk touch shovel for this. But yeah, I just wanted to make sure I have recording on to show you guys that we went to the Nether first time, first time in the Nether. It's actually pretty. We lost our glowstone. It's actually pretty sweet, but. We will probably go searching for one of those um, strongholds or whatever they're called in the near future. But for now, I just want to get some glowstone, some quartz, and some netherrack. Or no, netherrack, uh, soul sand. Yes, soul sand. This is soul sand. So we can make all of the things we need to make today. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and head back in and finish our enchanting room and I'll get back once we are done see you guys there okay guys I am back and it has been about an hour an hour 20 minutes I do not know how long I've been taking on this enchanting room but it is looking quite amazing quite great so let me go ahead and show you guys this is it boom and it's full and it's full glory so we go ahead and walk in here 
This is exactly what I imagined before I built this. We have a little broken down sort of bridge going across right here. And we have our books, we have our lapis lazuli, we have an extra chest, and we have a grindstone and our amazing enchanting table. But look at this place. We have all sorts of details mixed in all through the cave and through the back everything is detailed nothing is left out just in case except the glue so it's kind of looking weird but i needed to light up this area and the carpets <laughs> but every spot of this cave is detailed with all kinds of different materials and even in the water we have detailed it and made it a little bit deeper so it's a little bit more spooky if you fall in like oh i might drown i don't know what's in there but this is our enchanting table let me go ahead and show our inventory and our hot bar. But yeah, I think I like it. I'm so glad I've changed it from the gazebo that I was going to build and changed it into this amazing cave, but I like it a lot. So we're completely done with this cave. We just gotta wait till the vines grow and stuff like that. And we did put some string on the sugar cane so it doesn't grow, but I think this is our this is an amazing, amazing um, enchanting room. So, thank God we're done with that. And if you guys are curious, this does enchant to level 30. I know it doesn't quite look like it, but it does. It does enchant to level 30. And we do have some of our books that we were gonna keep on our house, but we actually changed that. But yeah, and we did take um, take out the fireplace or the campsite. We're going to move it over here to the second spot. I was thinking of moving it to, but I do not know what I want to do with it. So I'll probably build it off camera. I'll do something pretty cool with it. And I think it's time for us to build our chicken. Our automatic chicken farm. Because we have been getting a lot of eggs. And I know this is going to be a lot of uh, chickens in our chicken cooker automatic cooker thing and I will show you guys how to make that right after I get all the materials for it alright guys I have gathered all the materials I need for this automatic chicken cooker and if you guys are following along to build this with me this is all the items you will need exactly so let's just get started into it and obviously you will need a whole bunch of eggs if you're doing this on survival a bunch of eggs and so what you want to do since i want my farm to be lasting forever i'm going to do a double chest but right off the bat behind the chest you want a hopper and then feeding or on top of the hopper you want a slab right there and you want some building blocks behind the hopper you want a block right here and from there you want your dispenser right here and that dispenser is facing into the hopper or towards the hopper and then go ahead and put your put your half slab right here and on each side of the hopper you want to go up one two three blocks one two three blocks and from on top of the hopper this is where your other second hopper is going to be going and that's where your chickens will be sitting on is this hopper and then from here what you want to do is place your glass and now you're thinking you want to place two two glass right here and now what you're thinking is you can't open the chest but you can for some reason with the glass and from here you want to go ahead and break this block and get your observer out and place your observer right there doesn't matter where it's facing, it can face this way, that way, the other way. It doesn't really matter where the observer faces, but you just want, want it facing up. From there, you want to get your lava bucket, and you want to go ahead and place your lava inside, just like that. It shouldn't flow all the way down. And from here, you just want to get your redstone comparator. Place it so this thing is looking away, and the two torches are going towards the hopper and from here I had cropped that so and then put your redstone thing right there 
and you're pretty much done besides the fact where you need a stair system leading up to your chickens place a temporary block right there place a block right here block right here or a glass block if you want to see your chickens and then from here you grab or you break that temporary block and this is where your chickens were, will be and um and then from there you will be placing two more blocks or another block on top of that and your chicken cooker is completely done from here you want to go up top and this is where you can throw all your chicken eggs or you can lead your chickens up the stairs and drop them into here if you don't have a chicken thingy like i do but from here oh, holy crap that was a lot of chickens that's a lot of chickens <laughs> what okay so we just have to wait till these chickens grow i literally only threw six chi six chicken eggs and i was expecting just to go through all these eggs but and if you want to make this more safer so when you throw your chicken eggs and you don't want the chickens popping out just go ahead and build up a little bit and that way you can just toss all your chicken eggs in there without any of the chickens flowing out so this is pretty much it for this chicken breeder i'm actually glad i am done making this and it was pretty simple i'm not gonna lie nothing too much to it it's pretty simple and this does work on bedrock i am playing bedrock i am playing the xbox one and the new minecraft edition so this will work for bedrock if you're playing bedrock but yeah this is pretty much it for the chicken breeder i'm just going to be throwing all these chicken eggs in here and waiting until they grow up so we can get some chicken okay guys we are over here at my skeleton farm now we're gonna go ahead and grind this out um i think i left a donkey over there but right here is where the skeleton farm is so let's go ahead and just light this area up um, yeah it's definitely over here so first off what you want to do when you get your skeleton spawner is you want to go ahead and craft a slab and you want to slab the top of this skeleton spawner from here you want to count one two, one two and three so height is perfect and from each side of the skeleton spawner you want to go four blocks so one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four so from the skeleton spawner you want four blocks in between each uh each side of it and then you just want to go ahead and break out all the blocks so i'll be back once this is done also from the skeleton spawner you want to go down one two and three three blocks down people say you can go four but three is fine if you want to make it as simple as possible but you can go four or how many blocks down you want if you choose if you choose to but oh shit so yeah i'll be back once this is dug out it's a nine by nine area and three blocks down okay guys i have dug out this nine by nine area and three blocks down and from here what you guys want to do is so i'm figuring out where i want the skeletons to drop at and so i want them to go this way towards that i think so if you want them to drop any side just go ahead and break one side of this and they're going to be falling down this way so they're going to come and flow down get your bucket of water and go ahead and pour it over here well before i do this this is where my stairs coming at because the skeletons tend to like to fall and flow down the water and then they like to get stuck on this block right here and not fall all the way down so what i'm going to do is skeletons usually do not get stuck on stairs so i put a whole bunch i put stairs right here so they can't really get stuck right here on that block so that's why i have the stairs here <clears throat> okay 
once you have the stairs right here what you want to do this is optional what you get some ice you can either get packed ice or blue ice it doesn't really matter and you just go ahead and put ice on this so they flow a little faster so just go ahead and throw some packed ice and see they'll just flow down and right here you want to dig in one two and three this is going to be where you put your signs and I'm just going to throw as much packed ice as I can in here because I want them to flow down pretty fast. So right here is pretty fine, looking pretty good. So then right here on this last block you want to place soul sand. And this, will, this is what will be launching the skeletons all the way up. And from here just put three signs a lot of youtubers when I see their videos they put signs going all the way up I honestly don't know why you would need that they just fall into this when they're coming the skeletons come right here they get stuck right here but they hit the water sometimes launch all the way up but sometimes they come back down and hit into this block area and they keep losing damage so when they fall they automatically die so then you lose XP right there so I just do three signs and then the tunnel just brings them all the way up so that is fine right there I'm gonna make an infinite water source real quick okay and from here this should just flow all the way down yep and it hits the sign which is perfect I'm going to take this water because it's going to bother me the whole time. But from here, you want to go all the way up with, you want to go 21 blocks up. So you see the 18 on my uh, coordinates, you want to plus 21 right there. So... So my coordinate need to be 29 from this. So what I usually do is I get a block and I just get 21. So I know exactly. And then you want to make sure you know where you want to lead the, the skeleton. So I want my skeletons to go three blocks that way. So keep facing this way. One, two, three, four, five. You want to block all this, the whole tunnel. Because this is going to be a bunch of water right here. So I need to add another. So just keep going up 16 blocks. Oh, I already forgot what direction because I turned around a bunch. So they're going to go this way. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 21 blocks up, go three blocks this way so this is going to be water so one two three one two three and then this one i'm going to go 20 blocks down one two three four we're going to block this off because that's looking pretty wild i already lost count <laughs> So one, two, three, and then you want to go 21 blocks down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Double line on this block, and this is where we want our room.
So you want to mark what block they're going to be falling on. With our mark with this mossy cobblestone. And from here, you just want to fill all this up with the water. It'll be a bubble elevator. I don't think we're going to have enough for this. I hope we do. Doesn't look like it. There's an opening right here, which sucks. Drop back down. Take a little fall damage. So from from here, once you get to the top, the bubble elevator. What you want to do is you want to break one more block up. Okay, we're gonna fix the water, finally. Ugh, I don't fall down. So from here, once you've got this all set up, fix the water, you wanna place a sign right here. Okay, and you want this three blocks high. You can light this up, this room, it really doesn't matter. If you want your skeletons to be able to see up here. It doesn't affect their spawner at all. But, and then, this is pretty much it for the spawner. You just want to fall back down. Yeah, you're going to be another half a heart. But that's all good. Um, from here, what you want to do is just place your water in. So water right here. Yep, it's looking good. And from here, you can just cover up this and place your water source blocks right there cover all that up I don't know why this water Isn't flowing all the way. Minecraft's being weird. There we go. So the water should flow like this. The stairs should keep the the skeletons from staying on that block because it's not a real block. And you want to just cover up all the caves here, like so. There's my crafting table that I was looking for earlier and light up any of the caves so they have a better spawn rate and we are pretty much done they're gonna flow into here shoot all the way up and i'm just gonna take out all the lights now because we're pretty much ready for this skeleton spawner last few lights here and here they come I'm going okay full health go down and cover this up and this is pretty much it they should start falling and if you want like a little look post to look at the skeletons, you can build a stair up. Yep, this, this uh, land right there, which is pretty good. And then you can just one hit them with your hands. There's no sword needed, they have one heart, and it's actually pretty good. 
But yeah, I'll be back once we're at the base. Okay, we are back at the base and I want to show you guys me enchanting my diamond pick using our beautiful new enchanting room. This is the first time we're actually going to use this and I hopefully we get something good. Fortune 3. I do have a fortune, or I do have a uh, silk touch pick. Yeah, screw it, fortune three. Here we go. Unbreaking, that's fine. Now we have a fortune pick for when we get the diamonds, but. Oh, and we found a donkey over there, so we brought him over here. I haven't named him yet, but if you guys do comment below a name for the donkey, we'll, we will name him what you guys suggest but we also found a jungle sapling which is pretty cool but let's see if we finished everything off today's list we got the enchanting room we done the skeleton farm we made the nether portal we'll probably make that look nice in the next episode we got the chicken cook the chicken cooker and we built the campsite but we did break it so i'll probably build that off the episode too or off camera as well which is right here. I'll probably build that campsite off camera. But yeah, I'm going to go sit at the skeleton spawner for a few minutes. And we're going to go see what we can get from that. And then we'll come back and enchant some more uh, pickaxes and shovels and stuff like that. So, I'll be back. Okay, we are back guys, and I do have 41 levels. I've been sitting there for like an hour now, and I've got a whole bunch of levels. So what I want to go ahead and do is make a full set of diamond armor to enchant. Also, I want to make a new axe, a pickaxe, and a shovel. And now we are left with 16 diamonds. We're running low, and we have our fortune pickaxe right there. But yeah, if I don't have enough... Um, experience for this and I'll probably go off camera and enchant all the stuff that I didn't but let's go ahead and enchant our first items so pick I already have a fortune one smite I don't want that fortune I don't want that as well fire protection maybe thorns three yes possibility no and thorns Yes, I want thorns on that. Blast protection is pretty good for the wither. Protection 3. Unbreaking looks pretty good. Banner arthropods. Unbreaking. Hmm. What does this have? Silk touch? So I'll probably do that over. Let's see what my feet have. Thorns 2. Kind of want feather falling. Respiration 3, sure. Blast protection, unbreaking, perfect. Okay, unbreaking 3 again. Fire protection, lame. Unbreaking, great. Unbreaking, let's see what my pants are. Unbreaking. I think I'm going to go with the shovel. Okay, we'll just combine those together, I guess. Um... Fortune 3, I don't want. Please be something good. Of course not. Feather falling, yep. Fire protection. Okay. That's fine. Protection 4. It doesn't look like we have enough enchanting or XP. And this is unbreaking again. So, what do we have? 29? Are you serious? So, okay, Siri. Relax. I didn't say your name. <laughs> Anyways, so we have a full set of diamond armor. It's not fully enchanted yet, but I'll probably go to the XP farm and get that stuff enchanted. But we're just going to leave this stuff right here, just in case we need it. And what else? And let's just go combine these together since we have the XP. But what we're going to do next today is we're going to... What else do we need to do? Oh, yeah, let's check on our, uh, let's check on a, our, um, chicken cooker. 
I did get a uh, jungle sapling. I did not find a jungle. I found I bought it off the wandering villager. So just one for five diamonds. But look at all these chickens in here. And they're cooking me 25. 25 already. Look at all these chickens laying all the eggs. Crazy. We almost have a full double chest of these guys. I kind of want to keep these eggs to make like cake or something like that. Or like a pumpkin pie would be great. We've got to get an automatic pumpkin farm too going. But yeah. I think that's going to be it for this video today guys. If you guys did enjoy this video please leave a like and subscribe. And comment down what you guys want me to do next episode or just leave a comment. I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.